My name is Dr. Boye Sondezi. I'm currently a senior lecturer at the University of Johannesburg. I lecture undergraduate students primarily, but I also supervise postgraduate students. I grew up in a farm in KZN, which is a farm between Dundee and Newcastle. I grew up amongst my siblings, 10 of them, and I'm the first one of the 10 siblings. I chose to study physics at school because there were many doors, and there are still many doors that physics open up. I know that it is a challenging subject, but I didn't see that as a challenge for me because of the dream that I had that I was gonna be open by studying physical sciences. I am currently lecturing at the University of Johannesburg. As I have said, I lecture undergraduate students, but I am also a researcher in physics. Um, the area of my research is in experimental physics of highly correlated matter. This is the research that studies the behavior of 4F electron. I know that some of us might be asking a question, what kind of material is that? So if you look at the periodic table, there are those elements that are at the bottom. And the materials that I work with have one of those elements. So we look at the behavior of those electrons under extreme conditions. May it be high applied magnetic field or low temperatures. Each time women try to pursue a career, especially going to higher levels, there are so many challenges that they face. The first one, they have to be the caregivers. Most of them, they look at the time and think of when will I start to have a family? And when they start to have a family, now they have to juggle things around between family life and their career. So that's one challenge. And secondly, because of the family life that they have started, finances become a problem. They continue to study, but there's no income that comes. So that's what uh, makes most of women not to come into the physics related careers. The reason for that again is that these careers need you to be there for longer and you take time to earn a career if you do not get a position at the, at the institution where you are. So these are some of the things that uh, make most women not to come. I've heard that other women have challenges based on gender. They are still not acceptable and it is not allowed in other institutions to have women to be in the lab while they are pregnant. And because of the decisions that they have as women, they end up saying, maybe let me stay away up until I finish uh, my plans as a woman and as a family woman before I could come back uh, to work or to, to continue study. So these are just a few of the challenges that I can um, uh, state, but there are more than that. Others still face harassment at work, which comes in many different shapes and sizes. So these are the things that could be spoken of under a different platform if need be. The way I dealt with my challenges that I faced, because I, first, I firstly faced a challenge as a mother, because at some point in time I gave birth to two beautiful girls and I had to raise them. And I had to take them to the lab with, because there was nobody who was going to babysit for, for me. And sometimes I need to come in the middle of the night and they would sleep under my table. So those are the challenges that I, that I went through. And secondly, I also faced the challenges of some of the equipment, because at the time I started my research, we had limited resources and I had to do some of the measurements overseas and I had to leave the country, go and do those measurements so that I can finish up my research. Over and above that, I had already started to, to work in the department, so I had to deal with time in that, in, in that manner and my studies took longer. So juggling between things and activities became one of the things that I had to face as I studied going towards my desired career. For everyone who wants to, to be where I am or to where any other powerful woman would be, first of all, know who you are. Number two, what do you want? And also have a plan on how are you going to deal with the challenges because I can assure you, challenges will always be there. But you must persevere and make sure that you push through. And if you know what you want, nothing will stop you in whatever you want to achieve. You have a strength to do it and help is always around. Although some other people might not want to help you, but always know someone out there, if you continue knocking all, on all of the doors, there will be someone who will allow you to come in and then you can receive help that you desire. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.